It's the smile that students from Salford University had worked so hard for. Just one year ago, farmer Ninsima from Fort Portal in Uganda was subjected to a vicious machete attack by her husband, who was angry that she had dared to ask for a share of their harvested crop. She lost both hands and an ear in the assault and was also pregnant at the time with her third child. But fast forward to today. A charity called Salford Knowledge for Change heard about the mother's plight due to its work at Kampala's Mulago Hospital. It helped raise funds so that she could once again smile and have hope of one day looking after her children again. <laughs> it's been a very difficult process. Um, upper arms prosthetics hasn't been developed in Uganda at all. So we've used our undergraduate student placement programme to link students in prosthetics and their, their staff here in Salford with our team of biomedical engineers in Uganda. And together, uh, working between Uganda and UK, we've managed eventually and successfully to provide her with some functioning limbs. So I was involved in this side of things, so actually being at the university and being with the lecturers. So when we actually received the casts, um, a group of us did the rectifying, so that's where you kind of add and take away plaster to, to form the shape of the cast that will fit on her arm. It was a really interesting project, one that we wouldn't probably get to see in the UK just because of the cultural differences. So we took the casts and we sent them back here. They made new arms for us out here and sent them back and then we helped in the rehabilitation process. Months were spent painstakingly creating a new pair of hands for Ninsima. One is fitted with a robotic thumb so that she can grip objects. Of course, there'll be no substitute for the real thing, but it's hoped this new pair of prosthetic hands will go some way to repairing the damage from the attack. I'm happy that they did the right thing because uh, the, corset, the, the prosthesis that came, the corset really fitted. That means the measurements they took uh, were the right ones. Your phone. <laughs> Ninsima's smile says it all. Dina Campbell, BBC Northwest Tonight. <laughs>